Clients are the people or companies that you will bill for time and expenses tracked in Sage Time Slips. This training video will show you the basics of how to add a new client to your database. On the navigator, switch to the Manage Names topic and click New Client. You will create a client for Harper Engineering. In Sage Time Slips, you can use two nicknames to identify clients throughout the application. You can use either nickname on data entry and report screens. In this example, we will use Hopper as the primary nickname for Hopper Engineering. In this example, your firm uses an internal code for the secondary nicknames of clients. We will use 12-6543. Click Apply Defaults to accept the nicknames and view the other client fields. You can specify the name and address for each client. This information can appear on bills, reports, mailing labels, or envelopes. You can specify other contact information for each client, such as phone numbers or mailing addresses. Sage Timeslips can use this email address when sending bills by email. In Reference To text describes the overall work you are doing for the company. It can appear on bills or worksheets. Status fields establish general slip entry and billing settings for each client. For example, if you are doing pro bono work, you can have slips default to no charge. Or if a client has a long overdue balance, you can restrict any new work from being entered for that client. You can use the other pages of the client information dialog box to enter additional information. The remainder of this training video will provide a quick tour of these pages. The custom page allows you to set up and track your own custom data for each client. You can include this data on some reports or you can use it to filter, sort, or subtotal clients on reports. You can use the rates page to set up billing rates for each client. Rate selection rules can automatically choose rates on slips based on the timekeeper and tasks selected on the slip. You can also set up a default billing rate for the client. Use the Arrangement 1 page to set up billing arrangements and bill hold settings. For example, you can set up a billing arrangement that charges a different amount than what appears on the client slips. You can use hold settings to hold specific types of charges or transactions from appearing on bills. Use the Arrangement 2 page to set up tax profiles set up rules for rounding and marking up charges, charging interest on overdue balances, setting up finance charges, or setting options to send bills or statements by email. You can use the Accounts Receivable page to set up a starting balance for the client and track overdue balances. You can use discount settings to set up discounts for clients who pay bills early. Payment distribution rules let you determine how Sage Timeslips applies payments to different types of charges. If needed, you can set custom invoice numbers for each client. If your client has escrow balances, you can use the Client Funds page to set up bank accounts and funds balances for each account. 
For each account, you can set up options such as how funds information appears on the bill and what type of charges the account can pay. You can use the layout page to choose bill layouts, statement layouts, bill messages, and email templates for the client. These settings determine the detail and format of fields appearing on the bills. You can use the notes page to enter internal notes about a client or project. These notes will not appear on the bill. When you have finished entering client fields, click Save to save the client.